JFK Airport. Jennifer, take it away. Kennedy International Airport right now entirely closed down. We're in the midst of a terrorism suite behind me. Uh, cars are being inspected. Individual air terminals are being emptied as canine units that walked before us a short time ago and explosive experts make their way through gridlock on the ground. Skies are empty of planes, but billowing smoke from those towers can be seen. It's very, very visible here. No one wants to fly, even if they could. Everyone is panicked about being hijacked. That's what they're telling me. Their lives forever changed by today's horror. The control tower is being evacuated. People feel helpless, confused, unable to make a decision. We are outside the American Airlines terminal. Its employees are uh, now being evacuated, worried, hurt, concerned about co-workers and passengers that may have been on that plane out of Boston. It is a nightmare that no one wants to <coughs> experience. It is a nightmare that nobody wants to we experience. want to awaken from. And we're a little, I, I was distracted there because a gentleman from the airlines has just come up and told me that we must uh, evacuate now because they're still worried about bombs even here at Kennedy. Okay. Sure, Lisa, we understand. Michael, Jennifer, you be, thank you. Yeah, we, we appreciate it. And let's go to Todd McDermott. He's been working on a report in our information center. Todd, what can you tell us? Well, first of all, there are now reports from CBS News that a plane apparently has crashed at or near Camp David, the uh, weekend White House, if you will. Uh, right now at the White House, uh, they have decided they are making plans right now to get all the major leaders of the government out of Washington. Uh, also, uh, another key element here as we try to piece together who did this and why it happened, it has been pointed out. It is the anniversary, September 11th, of the Camp David Accords. Again, speculation that the reason this uh, attack has taken place is in retaliation for U.S. support of the Israeli government. Also, we have reports that the jet that has been circling Dulles Airport in northern Virginia, perhaps to launch another attack on the Pentagon, is surrounded by American Air Force F-16s right now. Again, that is uh, believed to be another hijacked aircraft at this time. They are trying to hail that plane, but it has been surrounded by F-16s. Obviously, in this situation, should another attack perhaps be possible, it may be up to the Air Force to decide to shoot that plane down. Again, we have no confirmation that is a plan at this point, but they have surrounded the aircraft as they try to determine what the next move is, but that is believed to be perhaps another hijacked aircraft. Again, uh, another key here is the responsibility. Who will take responsibility for this attack? if any group ever does. There have been various reports from the Reuters News Service of unconfirmed taking responsibility for this attack. So far, we do know that one well-known terrorist or uh, uh, pro-Arab anti-Israel faction has denied responsibility for this attack. It remains to be seen whether anyone eventually takes responsibility, but we do know, again, there is a report of another plane down near Camp David Further reports that the American government is making plans to evacuate all government leaders from the Washington, D.C. area. And, uh, Michael, Lisa, back to you.